Following on from our fantastic response to our previous video, British political tubs that baffle the rest of the world, we have decided to make a second one. Yay! <laughs> Some of the following quirky British political terms have been requested by our viewers. This one actually comes from my dad from the YouTube channel John Atkins Lost Norwich. He actually wanted to know what the difference was between the Speaker in the House of Commons and the Speaker in the USA, but that was too long for one video. <laughs> A lot of material there. <laughs> so we're just going to briefly outline what the Speaker is in the UK. And then you can make your own comparisons. <laughs> <laughs> what or who is the Speaker? The Speaker of the House of Commons is the presiding officer of the House of Commons, the lower house and primary chamber of parliament of the United Kingdom. The current Speaker, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, was elected Speaker on 4th of November 2019. The Speaker presides over the House's debates. They determine which members can speak and which amendments are chosen for consideration. The Speaker is also responsible for maintaining order during debates. They may punish members who break the rules of the House. Usually, the Speaker calls members to order by shouting, Order! Order! Like Sir Lindsay Hoyle was right here with us. <laughs> Speakers remain strictly non-partisan. They renounce all affiliations with their former political parties when taking office and afterwards. The Speaker does not take part in debate or vote. The Speaker also performs administrative and procedural functions. In addition, they remain a constituency MP. They are part of the Privy Council and represent the Commons to the Monarch. The Speaker has the right and obligation to reside at the Speaker's House at the Palace of Westminster. The Speaker is one of the highest ranking officials in the United Kingdom. So what, you may ask, is the Privy Council? The Privy Council, officially known as His Majesty's Most Honourable Privy Council, is a formal group of advisers to the Sovereign of the UK. It comprises senior politicians who are current or former members of either the House of Commons or the House of Lords. The Privy Council's powers have now been largely replaced by its Executive Committee, the Cabinet of the United Kingdom. The Cabinet of the United Kingdom is the senior decision-making body of His Majesty's Government. A committee of the Privy Council, it is chaired by the Prime Minister and its members include Secretaries of State and other senior ministers. It deals with questions concerning major issues of policy, questions of critical importance to the public and questions on which there is an unresolved argument between departments. The Prime Minister decides the membership and attendees of the Cabinet. The next question comes from another viewer called John and he would like us to talk about the topic of what is a wig? Not the one that goes on your head, but waha igga. <laughs> wig. What is a wig? <laughs> Thank you. A wig was a political party or a supporter of that political party. This was from the late 17th to the early 19th century. They sought to limit the power of the monarchy and increase parliamentary power. Sir Robert Walpole was a British statesman and Whig politician who, as the First Lord of the Treasury, Chancellor of the Exchequer and Leader of the House of Commons, is generally regarded as the first Prime Minister of Great Britain. He holds the record as the longest serving British Prime Minister. The Whigs eventually merged into the new Liberal Party with the Peelites and Radicals in the 1850s. However, other Whigs left the Liberal Party in 1886 to form the Liberal Unionist Party, which merged into the Liberals' rival, the modern-day Conservative Party, in 1912. If you have a suggestion for a topic that we could cover in a future video, why not let us know in the comment section below? We might even give you a shout out. You might even be called John. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to us on YouTube.